Hey everyone, it's Becky. Um, I just want to show you guys my design team project for Craft Supplies 1 for the month of May. I finally got it done. Um, I had a lot of problems with this box. Um, I had to rip stuff out and put it back and it was a big mess. Um, so there are the matchbox drawers. Um, these are the bigger ones. And what I tried to do at the beginning was um, do two of these together. And I tried to hand make uh, like a drawer and then the outer shell for it, and it didn't work out. And um, when I glued these match boxes in the shells to them, I clamped them down, and so it made them crooked. And I didn't realize that it was going to do that until they were in there. And there's a lot of match boxes, so I didn't want to redo it. So they're kind of crooked, and they don't open real well. But it's a kind of a cute decorative piece, I guess. Um, the bot they do open up, but you have to like use something to get in there. The bottom ones open up pretty good. Um, well, kind of. They're kind of stiff right now. And the other thing I did that I kind of seen after I did this was um, some other people's videos was. Um, they didn't paint the inside, and I did. This is one of the harder ones. Um, let's see, I think this one. Maybe, there we go. Um, if you can kind of see in there, like I did the paint. Let's see if I can bring it in there. Um, I did the paint, and um, I painted in black, and then I put like the burlap. I used the Prima Lyric collection and so like the burlap paper that's what I put on the inside and then I just um, used one of the other papers for the outside close it now um, and I tried to do it you know in the pattern of the papers so that it looked like it one piece of paper kind of but where my drawers are crooked it doesn't really go that great <laughs> but I think it still turned out good these are the um, aluminum beads from Craft Supplies 1, and um, I think these, I don't remember the size, I think they're 19 millimeter, and then these are the 6 millimeter, and these are the black aluminum beads as well. These aren't black actually, these were the like purple metallic colored ones and they painted them black, and then I put texture paint over them, and that's what I did on all of them. Um, right here, I did that... Um, Rick Rack, is that what it's called, with like the, that I got in my design team package for this month. Um, so I outlined this, and I actually had to round these match boxes, because these are the bigger ones, I had to kind of fill it in. So this is like chipboard, and behind it is like slices of, um, cardboard that I've slid in there just to kind of keep them so they don't wiggle out of place. And then on the bottom as well. And so then I covered it up with texture paint so that you couldn't really tell. And then I put the rick rack over it. Um, so it kind of turned out cute. Um, this is made out of uh, half of a cigar box. Um, one of those trunk boxes that you can get at Hobby Lobby. I um, did one and it was for Marla. But in my video, I'm not saying that it was for Marla. I sent a rack to her. So, um... She's got like a little bit of a bigger one, and I got this set of three online, and so I've got a great big huge one, and then the middle size one, and this is the smallest one. So um, I took the little corner pieces off the lid when I took it off, and I put them like right here, and so it would match the back, because they're on the back as well. And then I left the handle on while well, I took it off, but then I put it back on after I did the, the paper and stuff, so... Um, on the little corner pieces, I used, um, uh, the Rub and Buff, the Antique White, and then the, um, Inca Gold, the Old Gold, and I kind of just went around the edges of the little corner pieces, and then I did, like, texture paint on top. So, that's, like, pretty much my front. Um, I'll just go ahead and show you the bottom really quick while I'm, because it's kind of hard. So here's the bottom piece, um, there's the corner pieces, and then the little feet I made out of, um, 
the bead caps that you can get at Craft Supplies 1, and these are the white ones. Actually, i got to glue that one a little bit down, a little bit better. And then I put the little aluminum beads in the middle. So I used that as feet. And then on my paper, I sewed all the edges, um, except for the front. Um, I got that from Faith Chick 777, Linda, because um, she does that, so I wanted to try it. So I sewed all the edges, distressed them, and I put a little bit of um, vintage photo um, on it, around the edges. So that's my bottom piece, and I put texture paint as well. And then here's the side. Um, let me fix my camera so you can kind of see it better. On the side, I did, um, these are those like white pieces, white trinket things that you can get from Tim Holtz, the new ones, and I put, um, oh good grief, uh, washi tape, and then the fabric tape from the Lyric Collection on there, and then I put a little bit of texture paint on it as well. I did use a little bit of black texture paint and the white, and I just kind of went over everything to make it match. Um, on the black pieces, I didn't use the black, obviously. And then this is a little trinket from the Lyric Collection. And then this is like a little chain from Hobby Lobby. And I took some cheesecloth and wove it through it and some um, seam binding. <laughs> from I got this from Marla. Thank you, Marla. Um, I got that from when we did our swap. And so I kind of weaved it through and glued it, you know, on the back. And then this is a little trinket from Craft Supplies 1. It's a little rose um, you can get in the bronze and then this is the black bubble diamonds that you can get from craft supplies one as well and I just hung it off with like one of those trinket pins from Tim Holtz and then right there I did some of that um, modeling paste with the script stencil and I got that from saw crafters I think and then here's the little black I think this is the 5.5 or half an inch sorry if you can see it, Let's see if I can bring it in better. That's a little black flower, and this is the half inch one. And then these are like little white rosebuds, and those are from Craft Supplies one as well. Um, pretty much all the flowers I got from the shop um, in my DT package, so they're all from Craft Supplies one. There's the little um, new um, acrylic sprays that she's got in her shop, and then right here I just opened. Um, the paper and I stuck paper behind it and I sewed it up to this point you know just to make it look like it was um, worn I guess this is a frame this is kind of funny this is the frame that I made um, I used a Martha Stewart mold those you know molds you can get and it was my very first time I used that polymers clay and I think it's the Primo and I don't think I baked it as long as I'm supposed to I have no idea what I'm doing <laughs> So this is like, I did the translucent one, the colors, and I don't think I baked it. And then, so it kind of broke, but I still used it because I wanted to put it around this clock, and it actually wasn't even big enough for the clock, so it worked out. I painted it black, and then I did the white, um, antique, antique white, uh, rub and buff with the Inca gold um, over the top, and then I put texture paint. And then these are some of the spare part clock hands that I just put in the middle. And that's a Tim Holtz, um, you know, those little handles, the new ones that he's done. And then this is just a piece of lace that I got from Gisela's shop, Lavish Laces. Um, and then this is a rose bud. And um, these are the bigger white ones. I think they're an inch or an inch and a half. And I just closed it and I glued it. Um, like that and then these are the little half inch ones there's black and there's the pink and these are the um, three quarter inch ones and that's yellow and I just put texture paint on them and then I left the stamps on and you know twirled them and put texture paint on them as well I just dressed all the edges of my paper so that's that side and then here's the back and I don't know I I don't know. <laughs> my, I, I struggled with this box and I don't know why, like, I didn't really have, I seen this box, the way that the drawers were done and the way they used the box on Pinterest, but they didn't have 
like decorations or anything on it. It was just the boxes made to be vintage looking. So like I just kind of went by this to do this with by like the seat of my pants. I didn't really have a plan for it and maybe that's why I struggled. I kind of knew what I wanted to do. Um, but I don't know. Things just wasn't working out. And then my little boy right through here, my four year old, I... Um, he was up in my room, and I had to run downstairs really quick, and I come up, and he was taking my glue gun and slamming it into my, the back of this. So I kind of tried to cover it up and still make it look good. Um, and then he took the spray bottle to it, and so I wasn't very happy. Um, I almost went in the garbage. I was, like, done with this project. So um, here is a um, homemade flower made out of fabric and what I did here is um, I took Faith Chicks 777's tutorial on how she does her shabby chic flowers but I used burlap um, for the base and so I just did a base and then I took the tutorial from Gisella um, she's lavish laces I'm sure everybody knows her and the way she does she just did a rosette tutorial like to make a shabby chic flower out of rosettes and you cut them in half and put lace behind them well, I did that, and then I kind of put, like, little squares kind of in between the rosettes. So that's what I did there, and then I just um, used some black texture paint just to kind of grunge it up. So, and then I took the burlap, you know, little things and put behind this flower, and it's on one of those bead caps, the little white ones, so for the center. So I'll kind of bring it up close so you can see it. I don't know. I put it on there and I wasn't sure I was going to like it. It kind of goes with it now that I've grunged it up and made it look good. So, um, I don't know. Maybe with some other lace as a, as a background to it, make it look pretty. Um, I kind of wanted to use the burlap because of the burlap drawers and all that. So, um, right here is one of those like rubber flowers or well they feel like rubber but not really I don't know I heard that they are dipped in latex so um, that's one of those flowers and I just kind of grunged it with black and white or you know texture paint and then that's another acrylic spray and another yellow flower and then that's one of the calla lilies um, the like peachy light pink ones and then um, a flower stem twirled and then that's a little trinket pin and I fussy cutted this little thing out that says friend and some more of that script um, with the modeling paste and I actually sprayed back here with um, my Lindy's and I think I used cotton candy pink and um, uh, dark chocolate truffle with a little bit and I don't remember the white one it's like a fuchsia the, I think you can get it in the Winter Wonderland um, set. And then I did like the, um, oh good grief, the Crackle stencil, the Prima one. And then this is that My Mojito Green um, from Lindy's. So that's what I did there and I kind of just tried to spray it because I sprayed over here and I wanted to kind of bring out the modeling paste um, a little bit. So over here is just the green spray didn't really do any of the other ones. Um, there's some more trim from Lavish Laces and then this is that Rick Rack you can get from Craft Supplies 1. Um, there's a light bulb from Tim Holtz and then this is a spare parts clock. Um, and then some more flowers right there, just the little half black ones and then that's like one of those little pink and white porcelain ones. And then that's the black butterflies from Craft Supplies 1. Um, and then again, I sewed all the pages. And then, um, I'm going to go ahead and stop this video and do another one so I can do show you guys the top and the side, this side. So, I don't know how many minutes my camera does quite yet. It's went over 10, but hopefully it will still um, upload it so I don't have to redo it. Um, so, I will be back. Okay, so here is um, the other side of the box, and I just did the script stencil again, and I just kind of, I didn't spray this side. Um, I didn't actually spray either the sides or the front. Um, I just did like the texture paint and the black kind of over it just to bring it out. Um, there's some more of that fabric tape from the Lyric Collection, and then I did cheesecloth down the side. Now the one thing I want to show you really quick um, is I kind of tried to do 
like a spray, like a flower spray that kind of went down, you know, kind of weaving, and then bring it down the side. So, so it kind of comes down. You can't really see it now. Um, but that's what I try to do. I try to do like a flower spray, but I didn't really want like a. Um, I wanted a flower spray, but I didn't want it so sparse, sparse, whatever it's called. Um, so I just kind of, you know, just did different of the um, acrylic sprays, and then I just put flowers here and there on top of it. So that's what I tried to do. Um, these are the, um, I, I think they're one and a half inch or one and a quarter inch, the white flowers. Um, and I just did the black texture paint on that and then, you know, the acrylic spray. And that's like the peach and cream little rosebud right there. And then this is, um, you know, I trolled back the paper and glued it and put paper behind it and distressed it. I sewed this side too. There's more of that black paper or paper, rose flower, rose flowers, and the yellow. And then this is the dark pink um, acrylic spray. So there's that. Oh, and then that's, you know, one of the Prima zippers I just stuck there. And I got this idea from uh, Miss Liberty. I actually seen her do this on, like, a clock gear. So I stuck that in there. Um, I think she did it on a clock um, that she did. And she put it, like, on acetate to make it look like it was floating. So I don't know. For some reason, it gave me that idea to turn that sideways and... And use it there. So the top of my box, um, there's another one of those flowers that have been dipped in latex and a calla lily. Um, there's some more trim from Gisela, um, her shop, and then there's like a light bulb, a Prima light bulb, and um, another clear acrylic spray. Um, the other thing I did on the top with these little green um, stems is I took some white fabric um, fabric covered wire that I have and I you know twirled it around my paintbrush and then I just cut it and stuck it in here and there so that's what I did if you see them that are kind of lighter that's what it is because they're white and then I just kind of did the black texture paint on them and a little bit of the white over the black um, there's a you know you can see the white texture paint on that black flower and this is the um, I think these are the one in a quarter inch. Um, there's a little button from the Lyric Collection and there's the, another porcelain rose that's the pink and white ones. Um, there's another acrylic flower that you can get. These are new to her shop. These are the little, littler ones. Um, these are the clear ones and then there's the black one right there. And then there's a um, these are like the darker yellow flowers um, that I got and I did my little tiny haul video on that and then back here it's just one of those little and I think these are the half inch one, white ones and then there's the rosebud that I got from my haul and then there's another little white one and I just kind of put cheesecloth here and there on them and then turn it back around then there's another black flower and some more script and uh, there's more stencil and then more script. Okay, and then here is um, the handle that I put back on and I did the same thing as I did with the corners. Um, I did the, the antique white, rub and buff, and then the um, old gold, um, Inca gold. And then I tied some seam binding from Marla. Thank you, Marla. Um, and um, I just kind of tried to tie it in a bow and then bring it down um, around you know the flowers so there is my box um, let me know what you guys think um, I hope that you guys like it because it was a lot of work into that um, more than I expected so um, yeah just leave any comments questions you have below and please check out craft supplies one on Zibit um, she still got her coupons um, if you spend thirty dollars you get 20% um, off and then if you spend 50 you get free shipping so make sure you check her out um, check out Julie's shop um, she's got one on Zibit and Etsy as well um, so if you don't have a Zibit account you can always go over to Etsy um, so 
Thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.